Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins reports how this could be a game changer and help curb the spread of COVID-19. Ask anyone who's received a COVID test from a hospital and they'll tell you they're anything but comfortable. Enter Saliva Direct, a new test from Yale researchers that requires a simple spit in a tube. It's simple, non-invasive, turnaround time cut to 24 hours. And the biggest benefit, it may cost as little as 10 bucks, making it easier to test more people more often. We envision Saliva Direct to be a screening tool for large return to programs. So whether that's return to work, return to school. The NBA shot half a million bucks into the development and it was tested on some players, coaches and staff before they reported to the bubble in Disney World. They found results nearly matched proven testing methods. Yale tells me the test will be made available to other labs on a non-commercial basis in the near future. So within weeks, it could be used around the world. It's not so much a product, but a process and will only be available to approve labs that have the technology, which include our local labs. Cleveland Clinic is considering it, but they did their own saliva test study. Uh, we found a slightly lower viral load in saliva compared to nasopharyngeal swabs. And, and with lower viral load, you start worrying about losing sensitivity to Dr. Prokop says another concern is the Yale test cut out a step from normal testing to speed up the process. Whenever you start cutting corners, you usually cut a little bit off sensitivity. And so, you know, we're studying it, um, but we want to make sure that it is of a high enough quality to match the quality of the current test we're offering. UH tells me, quote, UH has been evaluating the use of saliva as an alternative and convenient sample for our patients. We're reviewing the data coming out of Yale on this test performance and determining if there is a role in our system. So the good news, options are expanding and we'll likely see them here eventually. A similar test developed at Rutgers is already being used on Major League Baseball players every other day. So in just eight months since this pandemic started, we may now have new ways to find it and slow the spread. Monica Robbins, 3 News.